right, everyone. So let's learn how to make a horizontal uh, scrollable design with Elementor along with a sticky vertical navigation. So this is how it looks like on the uh, desktop version. And when you use the mouse wheel normally, as if you go down the page, it goes right. So you don't need to hold shift or anything special. It just uh, uh, scrolls horizontally as you normally would. And then for the uh, tablet and mobile version, I just made uh, remove the code. So it looks like a normal website. So let me quickly show you. So this is what it looks like uh, on uh, uh, iPad. I didn't matter much to uh, adjust the design because we already know how to design for uh, iPads and iPhones. Uh, note also that the bar here at the top, it's just because uh, I'm logged in. So that's why there is this space, but uh, uh, it will not show up normally. And then for uh, the same thing, it looks normal for uh, mobile. But the desktop version is the interesting part there. So let me show you how to Actually, this is uh, a little bit complex. So what I've done is I created a template file and you can import uh, everything that you see here, you will import everything. So it will be easier to modify the design than to recreate it because there are, uh, uh, there are many little things that you need to be aware of and many little settings. So instead I thought I would just show you how to modify the template instead of uh, recreating it. So the very first thing you will need is to come here and download the, uh, the template. After this, you will go on your page, a uh, brand new page, that's uh, perfectly normal. And you will come here, uh, you will click here, and then you will uh, go select the file from your computer uh, that you downloaded, so the template. In my case, I will simply import it from my library because I, it's in there. I just uh, exported it. And then here it's better to click uh, no. And then uh, everything uh, should be there. Uh, this part here will not show up if you are using Elementor 3 because this is an Elementor Pro element. Uh, this one, I'm not certain if it will show up. I think this is also Elementor Pro. So if you are using Elementor 3, you might be missing a few, a few things on the page. Uh, but uh, the, the design uh, should still work uh, in Elementor 3. So that's what you will get. And now it doesn't uh, look great. So the way to edit this, uh, we will be using the navigator quite a bit. So the first thing you will want is probably to just make this uh, navigation section on the left the way you want, uh, style it the way you want. It's just a normal section. So here we can, we can see it by, by triggering, triggering the visibility on and off. So you can adjust everything as you normally would. And, and the HTML element that has all the code needed for, for this design is uh, the very first element on the page. And after you've made this uh, navigation section look uh, exactly the way you want it, then to edit the other sections, simply trigger off the visibility from the navigator. And now you will be able to edit the other sections. So here, what we see here is my navigation uh, section for tablets uh, and mobiles. So that's why I cannot click on it uh, because now I'm in desktop mode. And here is the first actual section of content. So it's only one section. And then in the section 
uh, there is only one column and then in there there is uh, there are many inner sections so that that's how the design works with the code so it needs to be uh, inner section in in one parent section and then every inner section needs to have the class section horizon so you will be able to if you want to add a section you can just duplicate it and then change the content that way you will know it it already has like the the right css class uh, and everything uh, but yeah this is uh, something important it needs to have the uh, css class section horizon and the parent section also has a, a class name of container section and then you can just edit as, as you normally would uh, there is, of course, you, you need to be, uh, to consider that everything should fit in one view height. Uh, otherwise, uh, the content will be clipped off. So for example, let's say, let's say here, and I, I had a very so, uh, small screen. So now, now it's breaking, but we can see here, it's already clipping off a bit, uh, the border, we cannot see it. The button is, is clipped a little bit so so that's something you will want to consider when creating your uh, your sections so yeah so the rest is, is just uh, normal uh, something that you will most probably want is to set each intersection vertical aligned to middle that's what uh, that's what will keep the content uh, consistently in the middle and uh, otherwise you can have a look how i made uh, this uh, like this uh, this is an intersection in an intersection so let me quickly show you how to make this you would copy a column that has a just in case you need this so you will co copy a column that has an intersection in it. And then you would paste it in a column that's already in an intersection. So now, of course, it doesn't look great. But if we just look here at the navigator, uh, we can see that now I have an intersection in an intersection in an intersection. So that's how you can add uh, more uh, inner sections. I don't recommend it because it, it adds uh, a lot of uh, divs to the page and it's not uh, um, really the, the, the optimal way to go about this. But for this particular designs, uh, you, might, you might need to add a, an inner section to, to get the right content at the right place. So, uh, so that's how you can, you can add it. And then finally, the only other thing you need to know is uh, in the HTML element. So now here we can see if I, I close this, so we can see that I have four inner sections of, of content, of uh, mine content. So I made it very easy to edit the code. I placed everything that, that should be edited right at the beginning. Uh, so here, you should enter how many uh, inner sections you have of content. So that's not, if, if you have sub inner sections, like I just showed you, it, it's not uh, content in this. It's just like the main inner section that you will be scrolling through. So this is one, this is another one. Uh, this is the third, and then this is the final inner section. So four inner sections uh, in total. So four, and then if you want to change the width of your uh, fixed navigation section, you can simply change it right here. So let's say I, I wanted this to be uh, quite a bit smaller. So let's change it to 18. And now uh, we can see it's, it's smaller. And of course, if I was to change it even smaller, uh, some design changes would be needed. 
so that's uh, that's all. And then uh, another thing you might want to change is the scroll bar. So here we, we can, you can see that I have a vertical, well, a horizontal uh, scroll bar at the top. And this is optional. It doesn't have to be there. I, I thought it kind of looked cool, so I, I kept it there. But if you don't want it, you can just comment out uh, this part of the code. And, and then it will it will not display. So just just remove the commenting. And then that's how it looks like. There is no no scroll bar, uh, nothing like this. Now in the preview, it's not perfectly accurate, as we can see from uh, from here. There is some uh, space, but if I refresh the page. And update. So now uh, we can see it looks just just fine. And if you uh, would like to keep the scroll bar, let's add it back in. So you can change the height of the scroll bar by changing the value here. You can change the color of the uh, of of the the track. So it will change the color of this part here and to change the color of the bar itself. Uh, you can uh, change this value here. And then uh, on this page, you will also find there that I've uh, included a bunch of small uh, extras. So for example, there is this uh, nice over underline on the menu items. So the CSS for this is here. If you want to keep it or to remove it or to make modifications to the color or stuff. And, uh, and there is also this nice button with, with the right arrow moving a bit forward and this and the circle animation. So this, this host is also uh, included. You, you will find the code somewhere uh, on the page for, for this. So I hope uh, you enjoyed this and uh, let me know if you have any questions. And uh, thanks for watching. And uh, if you enjoyed, please subscribe. I have uh, more uh, free templates like this coming as well as uh, other videos for, for great design. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye bye.